here we might have the fastest Windows Vista booting PC I've ever seen. Windows Vista is known for its really slow, really just really slow performance and um, and crash and crashing all the time. It's got an Athlon 64 times two. It's a compact um, computer with a hard drive. It's got a hard drive in there. A 600, I mean sorry, a 360 gigabyte SATA, three gigabytes of memory, Athlon 64 processor, and uh, yeah, that's about covering the specs. I was just about to load Windows 7 on it, but then I, I thought I'd do a video to show you how fast it is first of all. So we'll turn it on. We'll start timing from when the window starts loading. Compact. About 17 seconds. That's pretty good, isn't it? And yep, it's got a hard drive, not solid state. I know the CPU, the, the, these whole cases are stuffed up. <laughs> they put the motherboard facing downwards, so. And the window's on the wrong side. Usually the window would be on this side of a normal case, but got around the wrong side. There it is there. It's got the original Windows Vista, so it's Windows Vista 1, no service packs or anything, and that's pretty fast, but the taskbar usually goes back to the old Windows style, which is telling me that, um, that there is a small problem with Windows Vista, so I'm going to go with Windows 7 Ultimate, 64-bit, so I can upgrade to more than 3 gigs of RAM. Okay, so I've now loaded Windows 7 on it. Um, I'm just going to start it up and do a test now with Windows 7 on the same machine with same RAM. Twenty three seconds. Yeah, slightly sh slower. Um, I might speed up after it does its updates or something, but um, I would say it's running quite good. In twenty twenty three seconds, I think I said it's pretty. It's a pretty good speed for a hard drive. 